Hello, Jane. Uh, here am I with uh, your block that you wanted to grade and you had a little difficulty on the back. I forgot to start the, um, the video and I already did add the point that you were missing. Let me show you. So if I look at the point themselves, I go into single here. You had an extra point at the shoulder. I don't know if you need it or if you wanted to keep it for a, a reason. I did remove it so I don't have to grade it. What I did add is a point pretty much just by highs, pretty much at the shoulder blade or across the back. And I did the same thing on the front block. So just by highs, let's say a one quarter of the total measurement of the block, something like that. The other thing I add is a point. For the back, I add the point right between the two notches. If you want, you could also add instead one for each notch, but usually it's not necessary and the curve is nicer if you have less point to control. So just one in the middle I did and in the front I also add a point matching the notch. So when I move my notch, I move my point. You get the idea. Now, oops, let me go zoom in. Uh, these will be my, whoops. I don't know if you have a chance to, if you had a chance to look at my PDF grading ruler for kids that I did launch already. Uh, my daughter, she did a very nice presentation and they work really good. So I think we're going to do the same thing with the adult one that I didn't launch yet. It's going to look more like that. I remove the, uh, the back if you want and I think it's very easy to flip. There's no problem. So I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. I think with the background, it makes your life easier when it's time to grade also. So that's the way... It's going to look but my daughter didn't take uh, the time to do them properly yet I just did myself for now um, that's why that's why you see these one like that and it's not the same that you got but the grading remains the same so I'm going to start by grading the neck point and I noticed that you have a size Oops, first, 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 I need to make some sizes. So I'm going to select and copy. Maybe I'll do two smaller size, two larger size. So copy and paste. So I did four of them and I'm going to center and center. Okay, now we go grade. So I'm going to start by grading the neck point. Let's zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You you're working with a block size 12, so I'm not going to use the black line on my ruler. I'm going to use the turquoise one, this one here, and I'm going to place it right on your line. Middle, right on, I drop it. Bigger is better. So now we grade every size, so I go in the single point and I'm going to move. I did two larger size, two smaller size. I usually start with the larger and the further one. So this and I take another one and drop it. Same thing when I go towards the small size, further one first and then the other one. There you go. Now I could right away go back into the selection and change the color of each size. There, whoops, there we go. Sorry about that. The other one. And the other one, the basic 12. There you go. And the black is okay. Then the red one. There you go. So 
so easy one is done uh, let's go back I wanted to show you one thing uh, you also ask me about the curve of the neck I think you were wondering if it was all right I think everything is okay but you should not go below a 90 degree from the center back so I'm going to just trace a line from the center back neck point and hold the shift and show you that your neckline is perfect if the curve doesn't go below that line it is good so now I just get rid of the line we verify it's good let's grade the uh, uh, shoulder and arm all point so I'm gonna just go zoom in again the main thing here is to make sure that you're moving and you're placing the right size 12 on your basic block because you have a size 12 to start with and we're going to grade the point there you go the larger one the other one further and the next there you go so you get the idea and I always suggest that you take the time to push it aside see if everything is okay if there's a mistake you'll see it right away now it's time to grade the extra point shoulder blade point so here's how I do it shoulder point if usually it's hard to see because there's no notch no nothing so you just select the piece you see the point they're all one over the other and you're going to take the ruler and just look at that point where you want to place it don't look at the point that you're moving look at the one where you want to go and just drop it there usually it's good but we always verify now we could move the point one by one so one point there if it's a good video I might just use it because there's nothing like real problem to learn zoom out and we have to do we have to look at it perfect now we're going to grade the notch of the arm all. so on these digital ruler I was able to do a grading for the notch of the arm all. they're not 100% guaranteed but I did test with many bodice many many bodice and it was working sometimes you need a tiny adjustment like one millimeter for a six size bigger or things like that but that's why I'm always saying to verify even if you do grading by hand or any computer uh, program you must verify because you're working with different curve in the sleeve and the arm all. So you have to sometimes modify one or the other. Now, like I said, I did place, let me zoom a little more. Whoops, sorry about that. I did place, I'll make it closer. I did place a notch right in the middle. So I look at this point, but I will move the turquoise that I'll place right on. So I look at it and drop it. Then verify. Perfect. Now time to grade. Point by point. So touch the line. Take the point. Hold the shift. One notch, two notch. The point that I come and place, drop it right on. The line. Oops. The line the point one notch two notch the line 
one notch with this shift too and drop it one two three and drop it now i'm going to move the block the ruler sorry aside and I will do the underarm point so you could see the result of your arm all. So I go close. On this point, you have two ruler, the vertical one separate, so it could be useful sometime for uh, when you do tailor with a side panel or you could I use it also the same grading on both directions sometimes I move the ruler 90 degree I use it to grade color because this measure correspond to the grading of the neck so it's perfect to use for color or you could use it for details pockets stuff like that it's an extra grading point the vertical one now I'm going to grade the the one that goes both direction so I'm going to take my middle turquoise and place it right in the middle of your bodice this is a larger grading there you go so remove it one two and Sorry, my mistake right there. I got confused for a little. Here you go. So I could continue, but you, you get the idea, and I think you're pretty good already. I didn't know how I was going to go with this ruler, but till now it's pretty good, and I'm happy that you tested for me. Uh, I'm not doing the front, it's the same idea. Uh, your sleeve could be with a tiny challenge, maybe. But again, I don't really see complication. Because it, the sleeve head is more flat, I would really uh, verify the length of the sleeve and to make sure your notch are good. But uh, before we have the... Um, the result or before you test it we don't know if there's a complication it is possible with everything that is flare because the grading let's say you want to grade the land here because it's flare out your sleeve uh, the land would not be as as long as it would be if it was a straight sleeve so sometimes there's a little tricky thing but you have to find a solution either you work by hand or by computer is the same idea you need to make decision and sometimes uh, it's not the exact rating that you have on your ruler or sometimes you could just pivot it a little bit to help you out and do the same thing for both sides so these are just idea i hope this could help uh, please let me know